All right, so up nerds. This question says design a three bit counter. And then using a D flip flop. And then just because they don't like us, they say and a PLA. Okay, so your first step would be to write your state table for the counter. And to do that, you're just going to assume that it just counts like 0, goes to 1, goes to 2, goes to 3, all the way up until 7. Because it's 3 bits. So, let's do... We got our, ne our, previous, our present state here. You got your next state here. And then we don't have any output for this, right? Because they didn't give it to us. So we're going to do 0, 0, 0, that's 0. 0, 0, 1, that's 1. Then we got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7. So for our next state, we're just going to say that it's the next number. So 0, 0, 0 goes to 1, right? So we're going to do 0, 0, 1, and then we're going to do 0, 1, 0. I'm basically just moving these here, so you don't want to, like, think about what you're writing. So then 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, and then it goes all the way back to 0 once it hits 7. So that's the first step. It's, like, the easiest step out of all of us. So it says using a D flip flop. So we got lucky. So this is going to be our Q1, Q2, and Q3. This is Q1 plus, Q2 plus, and Q3 plus. We know that for a D flip flop, thing D stands for don't change. So we know that this is just going to be D1, D2, and D3. So just by looking at this, we know we're going to have to have 3K maps to get our equations to draw the flip flop. So just draw our K map real quick. Okay, so this is going to be for zero 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 one 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 zero and then zero to one and you have q1 q2 and q3 so we're going to say that this well, let me copy this before i make it equation specific so this is going to be for d2 here and then this one will be for d3 all right so d1 equals d2 equals and then d3 equals So to fill this out, we look and we see where our min terms are for D1. So D1 has a min term here, here, and here. So at 0, 1, 1, we have a min term. So 0, 1, 1 is right here. 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. And then that 1, 1, 1. All I'm doing, I'm just looking at my min term here and I'm reading it off right here where I'm going to put my ones on my table or my K map. All right, so now we have for D2, our min term is here, 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 and here. That's going to be for D2. So I have it at 0, 0, 1. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and then 1, 0, 1. And then one one zero. So now for D three, D three, we have it at zero 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 one zero one zero zero and one one zero. So at zero 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 we have a one zero one zero one zero zero, zero and then one one zero. All right. So this will be grouped, and this will be grouped. 
and then for D2, this will be grouped, and this will be grouped, and then for D3, we just have this whole row here. Okay, so for D1 now, my equation becomes what? So I have Q1 is changing, so I don't look at that. So Q2 is just Q2 because it's equal to 1. And then I have Q3, and then plus Q1, and then Q2 not. And for D2, I have Q2, because Q2 is not changing, and then Q3 not because it's 0, plus, and then I have... Q1 is changing, Q2 is not, so it's going to be Q2, not, and then Q3. This can also be written as Q2 exclusive or with Q3. Why? Because I have a not, I have both terms here and here, and one is knotted in one, and the other one is not, and then this one is knotted and it's not. That's how you know if it's exclusive or. So now for D3, it's just Q3 not. That's the only thing that's not changing in this grouping. So we know that this is going to be... Um, well, we don't know if it's a million or more because we don't know what our output looks like. But we know we're going to have three uh, flip-flops and they're all going to be D flip-flops. So let me just write my equations down here. So D1 equals Q2, Q3 plus Q1, Q2 not, and then D2 equals Q2 exclusive or with Q3, and then D3 equals Q3 not. All right, so now we need to do, we're gonna implement this using a PLA as well. So it's not only our flip-flops, but we need PLA table. So let's just start with the PLA table. So this is my PLA table. So I'm gonna have my product terms right here so I'm gonna have so these are my product terms right I have this 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 and this and this so I'm just gonna keep this as Q2 um, Q3 not plus Q2 not Q3 all right so here I have Q2 Q3 Q1, Q2, not, I'm just writing these in the table. Then I have Q2, Q3, not, and I have Q2, not, Q3, and then I just have Q3, not. So here I'm going to have Q1, Q2, and Q3. So for the first one, Q1 doesn't appear, right? So I'm going to put a don't care here, because it does, I don't care about it, it doesn't show up. And here I'm going to put a 1 and a 1. So for Q1 is just 1, Q2 is Q2 not, so it means 0, this is another don't care. Then for Q1 here is another don't care, Q2 is 1, and Q3 is 0, this will be a don't care, a 0, and then a 1, and then Q3 not, is, so it's don't care, don't care, and then 0. Alright, so now we can do our the PLA diagram. And that's going to look something like this. So you're going to have Q2 and Q3 and then Q1, Q2 not. I'm just writing my product terms. And then Q2, Q3 not. And then just move these up a bit. Just want to line these up so it looks nice. And then Q2 not Q3. And then I have Q3 not. So let me move this a bit. There. Okay. So now I'm going to write up here. I need Q1. And just draw all the way down. And then I'm going to have, I need my knot, right? So I'm going to draw it like this. And then that's going all the way down as well. And then I'm just going to copy paste this. Oops. I need it for each term. And then, so this is Q1 already. We have it. So it's Q1. And then I have Q1 not with that not gate. And this is Q2. And this is Q3. And then, so I'm going to draw these all the way across.
All right, and now I need my D equations, right? So I'm going to put D1 down here. And then D2 right here. And then I'm going to have D3 right here. Okay. So if I look back, I'm going to actually move these down so I can see everything together. So Q2 and Q3. So if I were to find them here, this would be Q2 right here. Here's Q3. Q1 is right here. And Q2 knot is right here, right? Because you're at the knot gate. And then Q2 is again right here. And then Q3 knot. And then Q2 knot. And Q3. And then Q3 knot. Now for D1, I have Q2 and Q3. So that's this one right here. And then I'm reading these equations up here. For these, this, this, and this. So then I have Q1, Q2 knot, that's in D1 as well. And then I have Q2, Q3 knot, that's for D2. This is for D2. And then Q3 knot is for D2. Or D3. Alright, so now we did our PLA. Now we need to implement it to our flip-flops. So we said we're going to have three D flip-flops. So this is going to be here. This is for D1, and this is your clock. We have Q1, Q1 knot, and let me just copy this three times. This is for D1, this would be D2, and that's D3, so D2 and D3, and then this would be your Q2 and Q2 knot, and then Q3 and Q3 knot. Oops. Oof. Alright. Q2 and then Q2 knot and then Q3, Q3 knot. Alright, this is like the easiest part, but it's the part that will look really messy if you don't do it nice and neat. So Q1 is going to go into Q1, right? So here's my Q1. And it's just going to go into Q1. Just like that. That's all you have to do for this step. It's probably easier than drawing the gates. Alright, and then Q1 knot is just this one right here. And then it's going to go into Q1 knot right here. This is going to bother me. Let me fix it. And then... Oh, it's still messed up. It's great. Here we go. Alright, and then now we have Q2. So Q2. It's going to go into here. And then Q2 knot is going to go into this one. And then let's just use red. So Q3. Doesn't matter how you draw these lines as long as they're going into the proper, um, like proper Q or Q knot. So, so for Q3, it's going to go all the way down here. And then Q3 knot is this one. So All right, now we have our equations D1, D2 and D3. So D1 is right here. I drew that too far down. So D1 will be right here. And then D2 would be down here. And then last is D3. And that's it. And that's your answer for this question.